Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to give you something uh, a bit like a pep talk. Um, I want to talk about getting started with sketching and how you can do this if you're maybe a little bit afraid or if you don't have the courage yet to to simply start sketching and start a sketchbook routine. And um, yeah, I'm just going to be painting a bit um, along this and um, talk about how to get started with sketching and how to overcome the fear of the blank page. And I know it can be hard to to simply start somewhere. Um, the first part usually is to get all kinds of tools and theorize about all the materials and read a lot. And usually these are only these sort of stand in questions that you believe um, you will need to focus on for making great art. So um, these tools and materials questions are not something that you need to focus on very much if you're just starting out. Uh, when you actually have a sketchbook and all kinds of awesome drawing and painting supplies, then um, usually the reaction from a beginner is that you um, might be fearful or insecure and so you have all these great things and you still don't know where to start you still don't know um, how to make your sketches great and how to make a decent drawing and how to make a decent painting and you still don't know how to not ruin your perfect sketchbook so let's take a look at this. How do you find the courage to start? How do you put paint to paper? Um, how do you start a creative habit, a creative routine? This is definitely not about the materials for journaling or for sketching. Uh, you feel, will find recommendations from me all over my blog, all over this channel. Um, this is about more like this psychological frame of mind that you will need to, um, to get started in an easier way. And I also wanted to make this video because I keep hearing from a lot of beginners that they really love what I do and they would like to do this as well, sketching in nature and exploring nature, but they are really afraid to mess up and they don't have enough courage to start and I don't think this has to be the case. So um, let's talk about this. Let's talk about sketchbooks and journaling and uh, sketching in nature and how you can get an easy start. So the first thing that I want to mention and that I find almost most important about this is that if you start a sketchbook, then your sketchbook is for exploration, for enjoying your creativity, for making mistakes. And yes, that's right. You are not only allowed to mess up and to make mistakes, but you definitely should make them in your sketchbook, in your sketches. First thing is you can almost always fix mistakes, uh, even and especially with watercolor, if you add this into the mix, and definitely with pencil drawing techniques. And second, you will learn so much from each of them. You will learn from your mistakes. It's really our, the how we as humans learn. We have to make mistakes to grow. And acquiring sketching skills is no different. Another idea that I would like to give you is to make it more about the thing that you're exploring. So when you observe and explore nature, this is the main attraction. Be curious and try to find out how something works. Uh, maybe a flower or a leaf or a tree. Try to find out what it does. Uh, observe animals. See what they are up to. It's not so important how well you can draw. It's more about this moment of curiosity about learning something. Maybe you're someone who's not as interested in these facts or nature and you don't want to um, observe the entire day and that's totally fine. Uh, maybe you want to keep the memory of an outstanding moment in your sketchbook or uh, maybe you want to um, 
keep a moment of gratitude and you could add notes to your sketchbook you know um, gratitude lists uh, something like this this is awesome for art journaling or you could also do species lists of animals that you encounter um, you can add elements like text or color scales to your sketchbook color mixing experiments or collage elements or abstract studies that don't really require any uh, realism so your early realistic studies might look wrong or fail in your eyes, but um, there are, again, this is a great opportunity for practice and for learning. So always keep these kind of notes about what didn't work. This um, th Don't be a harsh judge to yourself. Be gentle to yourself. And uh, I think keeping a sketchbook is all about finding creative ways of expression. It doesn't always have to look perfect. Um, just because I don't show these kind of things all the time doesn't mean that you you can't. So do what you feel comfortable with and challenge yourself a bit too and over time you will see that you make progress. And another thing that I want to talk about is um, what you see on the internet and your judgment on your own art. So uh, don't use the same judgment for what you see on my blog, for example, or on social media or on other blogs. Uh, so don't use the same judgment for this and for what you expect from yourself. If you're just uh, starting out, if you're a beginner um, artist and you've never had any formal art training, it's not the same. I know it can feel intimidating, but keep in mind, I mostly show you the pages that I didn't mess up. I show you the, the nice results that I want you to learn from. And also, I need to make money with my drawing skills. I work in the creative industry. I'm an illustrator. And um, this is very different from someone who just wants to enjoy a creative hobby. You don't have to compare yourself. I'm all for regular practice. I'm all for learning the basics. So don't let this hold you back. You can definitely acquire these skills. Uh, if you want to learn how to draw and paint realistically, then you absolutely can. It's not that hard if you practice and if you make this a regular habit you can definitely learn this uh, I used to say I couldn't really draw when I was younger and it seemed to be so much more natural for other people but this was just because they did it a lot so if you want to learn this then you just have to draw a lot paint a lot and then over time you will absolutely get better And still, the very first thing that I want you to be mindful of when starting to sketch is your own motivation. So ask yourself if you want to please your perfectionism or if you want to learn something new about nature or if you want to keep a visual record of your life. All of these are okay, maybe except for the perfectionism, which you should rein in a little bit. Uh, it doesn't really matter so much if something is pretty and perfect, if it gives you a pleasant memory. So when I go through old sketchbooks, and I mean really, really old sketchbooks, uh, if I still have them, then I see some technical mistakes, yes. Uh, but I also remember so much about each of the days and encounters that I chose to sketch. And this is worth much more to me. So from the mistakes, I can see how much I've learned since then. But the notes and sketches I've made remind me of the beautiful details that I wanted to explore, but the moments on that particular day. And this is what I want to keep. So remind yourself that you're not doing this for anyone else but yourself. You're not doing this to show some beautiful art on social media and to get a bunch of likes. You're probably doing this for yourself because you enjoy making art, because you enjoy looking at nature or looking at the things around you and um, recording them in your sketchbook. If you're still a bit intimidated by starting a new sketchbook, there are techniques to make it easier. And I probably don't show these often enough, but if you don't want to mess up the first page of your nice and new sketchbook, if that's what you're afraid of, then intentionally mess it up. Just make a mark, add your name or your address or your email in case you lose it. Um, let it be a doodle page for testing your tools. It's just the first page. Uh, or paint out your palette or 
just dedicated to some informal sketches to start your session each day. Uh, I used to do these small sky and weather thumbnails as the first page of my sketchbooks and I wasn't always using great paper. Um, sometimes I was maybe not as patient as I should have been, but this didn't matter. Just looking at the sky and watching the clouds and mixing a few pigments together is very soothing for me. And um, often when I felt that this was all I could do or I didn't really feel motivated. Yet often this was the starting point for another small sketch and then another one. And on some days this might work well and on other days it doesn't and that's fine. In the end, it is your sketchbook. Remember this. No one should judge you for the things that you do in your sketchbook. You're not required to share it with anyone. You're not required to collect likes on social media. It's for you to like, not for someone else to like. So each sketch can be a study. Don't be afraid of messing up. Instead, put a note next to it. You don't need to fill pages with perfect paintings. If you don't like the results of what you do, that's not a problem. You can sit down and acquire the skills to make your sketches better. It's not witchcraft or talent. It's just a manual skill that needs a bit of time and practice. Uh, the same goes for painting, of course. So I really hope this was the kind of pep talk you needed if you're hesitant about starting a sketchbook or a journaling practice. And I know it can feel intimidating, but don't make it about the art and the technique in the beginning. Make it about finding stuff out, about exploring, about things that move or interest you. And one more tip before you go. Uh, I've heard from a lot of people that buying excessively expensive and high quality materials has actually held them back from using them. So either you should maybe get middle priced materials that still have good quality and that you will actually be okay with if you use them or you jump in and use those precious supplies. Uh, they will not get any better when they're sitting around waiting for the next opportunity or the perfect picture or just waiting on your shelf and gathering dust. Because uh, with sketching and painting, this might never come, this perfect opportunity. And each new day is just the attempt to reach it. So that's it for today's topic. I really hope this was helpful for you. If you enjoyed this video, then you can help me by giving the video a like. And of course, I'd love to know what you think about it in the comments. You can also learn more on sketching in my blog or in my classes. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.